Greetings. Many of us are faced with many decisions. Some of us have two doors, options, ways, and some of us have three, and some of us have more. However, there's only one of us, and it's only two pairs of feet and legs that is going to carry us through. So a lot of us are really looking for clarity in how to make the right choice or the right decision. Whatever decision that you make, it's still your choice. It's still your free will to choose which decision you option you choose. However, there's repercussions behind either door that you choose to walk through. There's obstacles, there's challenges that we constantly will face through whatever door that we walk through. And I'm coming to you with this because it's within the collective, it's been going on for some time, and I just want to share a little bit, you know, because a lot of you know that I started inside of my main house, and you know, having the cards displayed and things like that. And I actually got a she shed where I was actually doing and, you know, producing and things of that nature so that I can have more quiet or more peace or space, sacred space that was just for me. Okay. So that I could also connect with the we. However, being that you know, my channel is still young, is still, you know, what, a year and some change old. I kind of jumped the gun a little bit um, to where it put me into a financial situation. So with me not having the support right now, which I know will come, however, the six months that I have had it has kind of made things a little difficult within my household and um, being able to evolve in the area where I need to. So, I still have repercussions. I still have obstacles, challenges with being in the main house, which brings about the children, you know, being more inside of the videos because I sometimes just move spontaneously to produce. And I also wait until the wee hours or the late night when I know my children are asleep. However, in the meantime, the collective is faced with a major choice, a major decision that has a lot to do with your soul's mission and where you're going for your next destination within your growth and your development as you continue to heal. So I just want to really kind of encourage you to just really know that it doesn't matter which choice you make, okay? It doesn't matter. Just what does matter is that you are able to be present, to be able to be still enough, to be able to read the signs before you and to observe them so that way the tower isn't caused by something greater or bigger than yourself. And that's my choice. I'm choosing to tear my own tower down and deal with the rubbish, you know, after tearing it down and just recalibrate, you know, rebudget, you know, and get some priorities back into a better perspective. Um, so I just want to say be encouraged, be willing like the message I just did, to participate in cleaning up the mess, you know, um, that whether it's created by source, someone repossession, repossessing something or taking or stealing or whatever, whether you create it or the outside of you creates it, um, it doesn't matter. It's still, you have to clean it up. 
and you have to work through it. And it's easier when we take it upon ourselves because then when we take down the foundation, we can actually, while we're tearing down the old structure, we actually can start and build the beginning of the foundation as we take it down to begin again. Um, and in that is because our master number 11, our vision, our perspective has changed. Our point of lens or our point of view within the vision of our hopes and our dreams and our aspirations and our all of that stuff is better focused, you know. So, uh, I think that's all I really have because I didn't really want to come and be long drawn, but I just really want to encourage you to really make the right choice that is for you, but also still knowing that there's still challenges along that requires your strength to endure, to overcome to then see the tower rebuilt that then if building it you're more wise and more strategic in the uh, the collaboration of your shadow your higher self your inner child your divine masculine your divine feminine all present within it along with the angelics to be able the angelical realm the etheric realm however you want to call it source the universe the omniverse you know um wants to collaborate and communicate to inspire or to give you the impromptus in what's the best direction that leads us to not lean on our own insight or our own understanding and i do say my beautiful souls if this brings any value you know what to do all that jazz until next time i share